Yes, very big and brave. Very big and brave. Let's pretend you ran across the road for that tree. Yeah, sure. I'm convinced. <laughs> that is called displacement behavior. And it means that our little male elephant is being full of nonsense. Very brave when mommy's next to you. I wonder if this is the same elephant that's been giving off... Oh, she just gave us a sideways look as if to say, don't mess with my, with my son. I wonder if it's the same elephant that's been having a weaning tantrum for the last two weeks. For the last two weeks, I've come upon elephant herds. Just watching her behavior for a moment before we reposition. The last two weeks, we've been watching... Whenever we see one particular elephant herd, it's got a cute little baby in it. But it's not um, Benjamin Button's herd. Benji's a little elephant we've come to know very well. But there's been an individual that has been having a serious weaning tantrum. Multiple times. What I mean by that is when elephants get to an age where mom no longer suckles them, the babies often don't take very kindly to this whole process. I see you, girl. It's all right. I'm just going to come a little bit further forward. That's all right. So I can see both you. And your baby. You see that slight tilt. And there we go. The little bull has calmed down and is no longer being full of nonsense. Hey, little one. Oh, yes. So baby elephants, when they are weaned, they don't take kindly to it. And what they do in response is they throw tantrums. Screaming, screeching tantrums. And most of the time, the squeals that you hear from elephants is actually the tantrums that they're having because their moms won't let them suckle. And they sound as though they're being grievous, they've been grievously injured or something when they do have these tantrums. And there's much squealing and shouting. Hmm? The Jew that's full of nonsense. He's exactly the right age. Just about three years old. Oh. 